This video shows how to change the orientation on a Valtech rotary valve, including Valdisk, Shearstream, and MaxFlow products. It is strongly recommended that the valve be taken out of line so that the closure member is visible and can be seen to ensure it is properly positioned during the actuator change. Failure to do so may result in the valve not closing correctly and or possible damage to the valve internals. It is easiest to make this change with the valve in a vise. Remove all accessories, including the tubing, positioner, and indicator. Make note of the line scribed on the end of the shaft. It should be in the same position when the actuator is reinstalled. The O on the cover plate should be on the same side of the valve as the seat. Remove the cover plate. And loosen the clamped spline lever bolt two to three revolutions. Temporarily reinstall the cover plate in any orientation using two bolts to hold the spline lever in place. Remove the four tapered bolts that attach the yoke to the transfer case. Note, on a max flow or valve disc rotary valve, the actuator may shift slightly due to the actuator spring forcing the valve closed. This is normal. Slide the actuator off the yoke without rotating the valve stem. Note, keep the valve in its fail position. Rotate the actuator to the desired orientation. The only options are 90, 180, or 270 degrees from where it was. Slide the actuator onto the stem and onto the correct spline in accordance with your desired orientation. The line on the end of the shaft should be in the same orientation as noted previously. Reinstall the four tapered bolts. Note, on max flow and valve disc valves, there may be spring tension when lining up the transfer case bolt holes to the yoke on failed close configurations. Again, remove the cover plate. Tighten the spline lever bolt, locking it to the shaft. Install the cover plate so that the O is on the same side as the seat of the valve. The indicator plate should be installed with the graphic in the same orientation of the actual closure member. Reinstall the indicator, positioner, and tubing in the opposite order it was removed. Next, perform a quick cal on the positioner. For more information, see knowledgecenter.flowserve.com. Finally, stroke the valve to verify proper operation. For more information on this or other products, please contact your FlowServe representative.